This is the Hackheld Vega, a hackable little handheld you can DIY. Doesn't that look cool? So if you power it up, uh, it actually runs the DOFA OLED. So let me give you some context. A while ago, um, actually I think this was in 2018 or something, I built this monstrosity. Um, look at the backside, crazy, right? So I built this to have something to have something portable that runs the DOFA V2 OLED. And I know a lot of you guys build similar setups, but it can be quite painful to solder everything in place correctly. And so I designed this PCB. So this is just the um, Hackheld Vega PCB uh, without any components on it. You just put in the components, you solder it in place, that's it. You know, all the connections are already made on the PCB. And if you do that, then, you know, you get something really fancy looking out of it. So um, I think this is pretty cool. So yeah, let's just quickly go over everything that's going on the PCB here. We have the uh, six Game Boy like buttons. We have some uh, artwork here and here. Uh, we have a RGB NeoPixel and a 1.3 inch OLED display. Uh, all of this will be open source. So, you know, you could modify the PCB design. I designed this in KiCad. Um, but yeah, on the back side, we have the VMOS D1 Mini, and here's a list of pins that are used. So the point of this design is to have something that's very easy to build yourself. You know, of course you need to know how to solder. You need to know where to buy these parts. Actually check out the GitHub repository because there you will find the PCB uh, design files to modify, but also the Gerber files. Uh, and it will also have links to the components you need. But yeah, as I was saying, this project was meant to be a very easy way to build your own Tiofa OLED. But you know, having said that, you can run your own firmware on this as well. Like program your own games for it maybe. I think that would be pretty cool. I would love to see what people come up with. And yeah, as you can see, I also 3D printed cases for it. And with that, it's a lot better to hold because of the solder joints of the uh, buttons, they, they actually, they can hurt a bit. Um, what I've did is put hot glue on them to um, make that better. But of course, um, ideally you want to 3D print a case for it. Um, so yeah, there are of course improvements to be made on this design. But again, this this one, the Hackheld Vega, is meant to be super yeah, cheap and, and easily DIYable, if that is a word. Um, so I am, however, thinking of future revisions on this project and uh, maybe one with a battery, for example, because this one right now doesn't have a battery. Uh, adding a battery would have made things a lot more complicated and expensive. And I'd rather have that in a separate version. So yeah, uh, if you build this yourself, again, check the GitHub for um, the links and everything. Make sure that the pin out on the top, they have little labels here, um, actually match to the one written on the PCB. First flash the VMOS with the DOFA firmware and see if that works. Uh, if it does, then solder the VMOS on the PCB. And then you can proceed with, I don't know, the buttons or the NeoPixel or the OLED. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just important that you start with the VMOS um, because once the display is on, you can't really solder the VMOS into place anymore. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think you can get all of those components relatively cheaply on AliExpress, eBay um, or similar sites. So wherever you live, you should have no problem sourcing the parts. And if you want to support us and projects like this, you will also be able to buy a few of those. However, we only made a couple of them. So, um, you know, if you watch this video and it just came out, go to spaceon.com and see if they're still available. If not, they're probably gone forever. So originally I had a much bigger release plan for this project, but I don't really have the time to do that. And since I couldn't find a sponsor for this video, I don't really have the money to support it either. So instead, I just want to give you this DIY version as it is, just to get it out there. This is a typical project that's for the community, that's very DIY focused and not really a product. Um, so this is fully a thing for you guys. And I hope you like it. Um, send us pictures, tag me at Spacehoon or at Spacehoon Tech, wherever you can find us on social media, if you build one of these. And if you like, check out our new Kofi page. If you maybe built a deal in the past and you just want to say thank you, you know, you can leave a one-time donation or you can subscribe to a monthly donation and get a exclusive Discord role. 
Um, by the way, check out our Discord community server. It's really cool. Let us know in the comments what you think about this project because it's really important to get that feedback and know uh, where we could go with this project. So yeah, I hope you like this video and um, yeah, have a great day.